Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. Soon you will falter, dealer man. <laughs> there is nothing soon. Left but your final challenge. But instead of that, bloop. Now we play the game in its purest form. And here it comes. So, time to finally play adventure mode. Sorry, endless mode. Because we uh, have now beaten everything in the game except for the final level. And uh, that seems like the way to end things, more or less, I guess. So, how do I want to do endless mode? Uh, one logical thing, potentially, would be the Cursed Lion Prince. The idea that he, he keeps increasing his health all the way up to 200 is rather interesting. Just from doing fights. That's not a bad way to start things off. I'd also get a chance to finally check out this whole, uh, this whole quest line that he gets. Every kill earns a player stackable speed and, and damage boost? Taking any damage resets the boost to nil. Did he, did he always have that? Or... Oh, killing streak was probably added by the last item we added to the situation, right? Right, new starting gear, which is vague. See, it's implied that... Well, that's, that's one way to check. Go to adventure mode and just check out his stuff. Hindsight mode. Yep, killing streak's the new one. Okay. So, I think the character that makes the most sense to do this, since it's a long run, is to do the character that starts with low health but builds up a bunch of it. If I, I can be... I can get away with being really cautious here. So, the way that endless mode works, is my, as far as I've been able to lean so far, is I believe it's going to use the entire deck, so I have no control over which encounters are or aren't in it, which will give me the opportunity to unlock new encounters, hopefully, if I can live long enough, but also basically everything I've ever defeated will also be in here, and every weapon will be in here, and every item type will be in here, and crazy combinations of things could happen. It could be a very long or very short run, and uh, that's exaggerated a bit by the idea of playing as Lion Prince, because if I play it as this character, I'm going to be fragile at, at first, which encourages it to be a short run. But if I can get past the first bit, I should start getting a uh, max health for every kill, which should help boost up my overall survivability, I hope. Which could be good for a lot of situations, I hope. Yeah. Especially, like, help me with recovering from bad things happening, or from curses that reduce my health, I hope. Death. We use the word so often. You run out of food and you die. You lose your health and you die. Yet, you're still here. We do not speak of the true death. The final oblivion. Only the death of the game. Where your piece begins again and moves across the table. This game, like all games, Touches on that true death, however, for a life must be lost, and lost for all time. That was foreboding. Although I think I'm, that I mean that might be dialogue triggered less by endless mode and more by the fact that I've um, I've now uh, ready for the final encounter. Uh, although that's not what I'm doing right now. I apparently have a score of four, so I guess we're gonna have points to keep track of. So I have some I have some frame of reference for how good my run was. I won't the first time, but if I did multiple runs or other people did runs and compared, we'd have some idea. Really? Just immediately? I would love to do this three times in succession, but maybe not right now. <laughs> maybe not immediately. Just an idea. Holy Forge! You taunting me. Can't do that one yet. Hey, that's... Goblins? I don't really have gear for them to take. Might be a good idea. Oh, that's three easy kills. There's that. Ferry boat. Oh! Damn it. Alright, well, no goblins. That was an accident. I, I didn't mean to click that fast. And I, I meant to go down. Goblins would have been three early easy kills. Dealer's Spite. That's a new one. You feel a chill in your soul as you sense the powers of darkness growing ever stronger. Uh, uh, okay. Is this how endless mode works? He keeps shuffling more negative cards into the deck the longer the game goes on? Maybe. Or maybe that's just how he reacts to the fact that I've gotten this far in the game. Endless! A trap lurking in the shadows. This is an endless only card? Lose a food. Oh 
Do you believe the wheel turns again and returns us to the world in order to experience afresh all that has happened? I do. Yet I cling still to this semblance of life and will not go willingly through the door. It's the apprentice. What? Also, the rules here are strange. I don't really know what's going on. There's tokens everywhere giving me money and stuff, but also I'm losing stuff every floor. There's a bunch of new mechanics that I don't think were introduced in advance, and I just have to encounter them along the way. The Apprentice! This is one of the cards we unlocked uh, from the last run. By, by I believe by doing the story? No, not by doing the story, by doing the White Council, I think. I think it's the conclusion or, or follow-up after you finish the White Council chain. One day you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. Since we have been forced to leave our sacred tower, we must make our own way in the, this world. For a small fee, I could transport you to a destination in a faraway land. Alright. Seems like a bad idea, but it might unlock the encounter if I pay full price. So I'll pay 15. I got the token, yay! Card hand. You hand over the gold and the wizard prepares himself for casting. The young wizard waves his hand, saying, Don't worry, I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, you continue your journey, although your pack feels a little lighter. Did you take- You took my lion helm! Wait. Oh, no. Cursed. Money bags. In combat, the I player's moving speed- Yeah. We've been- we've encountered that one before. My lion helm. Is that what it's makes me get? To walk Do I need that to get hit door. points? You need to have lived a life that provides enough meat Shit. for our deck. Yet you also need to have enough will to walk through the door. Enough power left to persist. Um. I don't remember what the lion helm does, but this. It says the Curse of the Lion Prince. Start with low max health, but increase with each defeated enemy. So I, I assume I didn't lose the main effect. What did the Lion Helm do? I don't remember. That bothers me. I don't remember what it did. Crap. So he so paying him for the teleport took me to another floor, which is not useful to me. Took my helm, which is bad for me, but I'll probably get a replacement. And it took me to another floor. Yeah, that's not good. That's not really good. But hey, unlocked an encounter. That's one of the things I'm going for. If I'm lucky, I'll get a really nice big. I'm at, uh, tower of things in that corner over there. Local peasant. Feast. Famine. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a, a peasant woman. Greeting, stranger. The winter's been hard for the family this year. In the forest boundary, you see, you sense movement. It's a lot of food to give off. I'm gonna go ahead and not. Goodbye then, stranger. And, she, and you move on. I'm gonna avoid giving off food just because that's... That's kind of a lot, with no encounter to unlock. Sea Journey! This one. This is the one where I keep trying to get custom back customs? Yeah, masquerading as a spice merchant. I pressed X and nothing- I pressed A and nothing happened. That was weird. It made the sound like something was happening. Alright, I have not had a fight yet and I'm running out of food. That's not really good for my overall setup here. Well, It's a bad start. Marketplace. I'm surprised to find you arrived of a at the town of Stiegel on, on Market Day. Memories. It's really hard to read things out loud sometimes when he's reading, when he's saying and stuff in my ears. Sometimes I want to power through it, and sometimes I don't. But like he, he talks a lot, and not always anything new to say. Really, I haven't had this in the deck for a long time. This is a super early game card. The markets are selling food today. You may offer some gold to the market and see how much food is uh, it, it is worth today. Half my gold. I could use food, so it's not a terrible idea, actually. You deliver your gold to... Yeah. You deliver your gold to the markets and wait for the trading to finish. I briefly thought I'd mixed up gold and food and, and made a mistake there. Alright. So how much food did I get? Uh. 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 Yeah, okay. There we go. We're fine. Everything's fine. One food gain... Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm sure you are grateful for that. That's actually what I want to say. Ten food would normally cost like, like uh, thirty gold. So I got a discount technically. 
I am less likely to have any use here now. But I'll take a look. Maybe there'll be an ambush and I'll get a chance to level up a little bit. So I think that you can encounter the same card multiple times, even if there's only one card in the deck. In endless mode, because I think it's supposed to keep reshuffling, because it's, en well, it's endless, so at some point it has to. If that's the case, it might be possible to start and even continue multiple stages of the Lion Quest. At which point, if incre if the ben if it's based on increasing my health, then if I pump up my health enough, then multiple encounters could lead to multiple progressions to that story, I think. That mostly depends on whether- uh, no, it probably doesn't work that way. You can probably encounter the same card multiple times, but unless- Unless he's going to, at some point, actually go through the bowl of tokens, I won't be unlocking new cards to add into the deck. I hope you- I'd like it to work that way, it might work that way, but... That is an additional wrinkle to worry about. Is that they're technically not in the deck or unlocked until after the round. Well, I don't need two medium armors. I don't have, don't have much else going on right now. Probably want to keep killing streak and stuff like that around. Could buy more food just to keep it going. I have so much food! You can't stop me! I do like having a giant pool of food from time to time. It just feels like I'm less at risk of stuff going wrong, and because it's endless mode, I'm much more likely to actually use all that food, because I'll be at this for a while, hopefully. As opposed to just having to last long enough to finish the floor. Chiefs and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. It's a good thing we're not building up to a final boss, because I'm about to hit floor four without a single fight. Which is the opposite of how this class is supposed to work. Dealer's Spite. It's getting worse. Oh, goodness. Joke's on you, I haven't fought anyone yet. A trap lurking in the shadows. Oh, not my only gold. I have made my wager. I'll also make my deal. Uh oh. You have questions, and I will provide answers. After all, that is why you came here, is it not? I don't even remember what this guy does anymore. I remember they were kind of a pain to get past, and you, unfortunately, they tend to block your path, and you have to try to get past them. I can't go back the way I came. Oh, I don't remember what the negative effect is. Is it a curse? I know it's not the last one, that's for sure. Yay! With a combination of skill, daring, and luck, you weave between the probing tentacles. I guess I don't have to know what it does for now. The tavern. Again, we find you in a tavern. Alright, so I'm gonna help you go after your ship again. Which we've rescued so many times now, but never in the way that gives me the token. I know it's not- this is not the huge success, but that doesn't mean I know that where the huge success is. But there was a there was a success in a huge success, right? Yeah! It was a- that was a failure. Alright, when you reach the pier, you inquire about the- the, uh, drunken wench, and only discover it birthed an abandoned jetty. I'm sorry, lad, I swear I didn't leave here yesterday. That's the last time I drink Delusion Brandy, for sure. Shamefaced captain gives you some supplies for the trouble, and you get two gain cards. Whoa! Okay, that doesn't give me the token. I need to have a normal success first, then or maybe well, I don't know if it's a normal success or a failure, but I have to get on. I have to get aboard the ship itself, and then we and then when confronted about the treasure, I have to fight him for the scroll. I think because last time I just took the treasure because he was cool with uh, just going with the the, the uh, scroll, but that was clearly how the story continues, and I failed that part. Still, good benefit. I see that oh, a giant eagle. Remain free. That pleases me. There are sometimes upsides to this thing, but it's kind of a bummer that uh, it'll take me to another floor again. And escalating floors quickly could be dangerous in this setup. I'd also then be on floor five without a single fight. Maybe I should hide this time. Oh, good luck. I may not be entirely successful. I was probably entirely successful. With an ear-splitting screech, the bird swoops past, then flies into the distance and disappears from view. Bloop. The lonely bard. This is what comes from interfering. This is the bitchy bard. He's like, you haven't caused enough sorrow. Let's pay ten gold for a song. I have a lot of money right now. Uh, he begins to wail about beauty hiding a corrupt and evil soul. You've obviously caught him in a bad mood, and the cacophony lowers your morale. 
draw a max pain, max health pain card. That's bad. Cool, I've never had a single fight yet, and now I have less health than I started with. You're a prick. The song ends and he drifts into a restless number. Alright, so now we've gotten both sides of this, the good and the bad. So he doesn't just increase your health, he can also reduce your health, so... Fuck that guy. Also now I'm on floor 5 without a single fight to increase my health pool. Well... This is turning out interestingly. I saw the jack go in there, no. Damn it. A trap! Oh no! <laughs> I have 25 maximum health, are you kidding me? Hey! An ambush. Very few have it's just three bar- it's rapidly. just three normal they soldiers. I might be able to- succeeded. They're worth- are, are they worth four or five per kill, or three? Three, four, or five sounds not- sounds right, I don't remember which number exactly. Surely I can finally- Recoup my losses a little bit, right? Unless this encounter just fails to load? Really? That's never happened before. Um. Hey, it loaded me right back where I was, so there's that. Don't, don't crash. Again. Or whatever that was. It wasn't a crash, it just stopped Not working. Much worth hey, just the same card. Travels. Yay! It froze again for a bit there, but then eventually loaded it up, so that's a good sign. I wonder if... I don't know. I wonder if there's an ad a seed that's generated in, in advance, so you can't game the randomization. That's interesting. It could be that it always gives you the same results. I'm not going in that trap. just want you guys to go in the trap. When he's dead already. Good job. Oh, you're not. You just were down for a long time. Give me my goddamn hit points. It's two hit points? Oh, crap. I thought it was more than that for sure. Still, that can add up fast. That's 50 kills per 100 hit points. Over the course of the whole run, that could be reasonable. Let's sneak up and kill. Three out of four chance. Let's try to get some loots. Fat loot choice. Select your desire. Hey, max health. Why would that do that? Much good mate do Why did Hey, even more max health. I'm now eleven higher than where I started. Cool. Really? That's the exit? Descent into the underworld. Dead man's gorge. Devil's carnival again. Bandit attack. Anger Guild Master, Wandering Minstrels. Um, could try to do the Wandering Minstrels. Give them gold, right? Yeah. Underworld sounds like a bad idea. Des Deadman's Gorge. Wait, what is that? That's not the treasure, that's something else. Let's loop around a little bit. Every time I go further into the dungeon, I'm putting myself more at risk, right? So... I should hang out for a while. I don't know if I want to do the hell yet. I'm pretty early in the run to try to go to hell. I don't even have normal, normal people health yet. I do have a bunch of gold though. Just kind of keeps coming back to me. Maybe I'll be able to buy something cool, like a helm. Usually you sell like rings, right? Chains of rage. During combat strikes sustained with bows and wands, I have a chance to restore all cooldowns. War cry. Right bumper to perform a war cry, you will be able to perform your most damaging attacks without building a combo. Skeleton King Helm! A hit on the player gives the player's next attack a 25% chat bonus! The effect can stack up to three times, but is removed after making an attack! Mage's Mask. Hits the player. On the player, have 20% chance of creating a magic shield around them. That's neat. I like shields. Well, this is a guaranteed damage bonus whenever you take hits, though, which I also like. And I could use a helm. I don't like gambling. I like guaranteed th effects. Even though, although I don't, I also usually don't like bet betting on the idea of taking hits. But I'll take it in this case. Just gonna stock up on food periodically. Sure, you are grateful for that. I'm so screwed if I ever run out. I can work with most other things. Shit, that was a bad idea. 
Uh, well, gotta have to live with that now. I was thinking of in the moment and wasn't thinking about the minstrels down there. Maybe I'll have a chance to get more gold on the way down. Like this bandit attack! There's a chance for health, at least. Two monster cards. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. Here's a chance for 12 hit points. Hi. Ow. Rude. I'm behind you, bitch. Whoopsie. Whoop. Die. Just all of you stop living. <laughs> Can you get out of the screen, random bush? <laughs> it's just kind of in the way. It's really unpleasant. Hey, got one. Whoopsie! Ah, killed that guy with his own projectile. Cool. Here's the health. Some good fights like this and I can actually go after the, uh... I might be able to go after Hell. The good thing about Hell is that it is a bunch of fights. And that's how I increase my health. And, uh... Yeah, maybe I'll start off at Hell, then walk around and explore a little bit. Like, walk around and then come back a little bit, maybe? Nah. I have to go here next anyway. You begin to see the nature of the question. Two monster the cards, it's an ambush. Do we look to the past or to the future? Is your decision predetermined? But yeah, there's, there's actually a, there, there's potentially a ton of enemies to fight on this floor, which could lead to a lot of extra maximum hit points, making this all worth it. I will punch the shit out of you. <laughs> Got out. Got one. Hello. Please stop living. Watch out. Watch out. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Danger. Oh, got up. Crap. These damn unblockables. It just feels so intuitive to bash them in the face when you can't counter their attack. Wow, 15 damage, huh? Get out, get out. Come on. Whoopsie! Come on. Just stop living. Oh, whoop. Hello. Get out, get out, get out. No, I got stuck. I had already bashed his shield and I got stuck mid-animation, just trapped there forever. You damn lizards. Damn pesky lizards. Get out. Holy crap, they're durable. New weapon, please. Get out. I got one of them down. Two down. Should be well out of range at that point. There we go. One enemy is incredibly easy because you can just bash them into submission. It's all the extras. Okay, 75 hit points is good, but 27 is a bad part, a bad way to deal with the next thing. Ooh, health. Okay, that's better. That's also good. That's also good. Okay, maybe it's not such a bad idea to go to hell now. I have a better number of hit points than I did a moment ago. Two monster cards. Think you have the four of hell. If it's no golems, then I should be good. Because I think if it's little rat people, for example, then I can just get some quick hits. Oh yeah, these guys aren't so bad. If I remember correctly, they're not very durable. I don't remember if they do the same... Poison cloud that their uh, above ground counterparts do. I should probably just stay away from bodies for a while if I can. None of them are dead yet. Admittedly, I can't really focus fire any of them very well. Because I'm just, I keep changing targets as I fight them. Mostly because I have a necessity to counter people whenever I have the chance. 
I'm a little iffy about the fire. Can it hurt me? Doesn't seem like it. Oh! Okay, he, he missed me apparently. Which is good, because I definitely did not avoid that in time. It is nice being really fast. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. I finally got all those attack... I got all those damn fights I was looking to get. Just like that, hell sets me up so that I'm on my way to getting... Uh, I'm on my way to having normal amounts of hit points, which means I'll soon have more than normal amounts of hit points, hopefully. So people have told me I'm supposed to just go back and forth until they finally just give it to me. Let's see, I'm gonna give this- I'm gonna give these people half my gold and this see if that finally unlocks what I've been going for. If you can defeat this uh... Request a song. Draw a blessing card! Retribution. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there's a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds! Uh... Half of my... Gold. You come to an agreement and give them half your gold. To Yay, it's the, code's t the uh, card's token is now mine. You certainly have a lot of gold, one of the minstrels exclaims. In thanks, the pair tell you uh, where to find an oracle of the old gods. We are heading to Kadir next. The Duke is holding a victory celebration, requiring the services of fine entertainers such as our ourselves. Perhaps we will see you there. Maybe I will now that I finally unlock the next token. So, five floors is often when the dungeon ends. That's not exactly a, a steadfast rule or anything, but I would like to find out that maybe every number of floors he unlocks the tokens and shuffles the corresponding cards into the deck. That'd be nice. Don't know if that's reasonable or not. I've already finished Angry Guildmaster. What does it do? I can't remember. Well, no better time to check than right now. Whatever it is, I already unlocked the encounter. Walk in the I think I can try to steal from him? Yeah. Which could go very good or very well or very poorly for me. Or very well for me, I guess. I just stole the shit out of him. You regain your feet and I get an equipment card. A cult ring. Player inflicts three more damage for every curse they have. Yes. That's great. I don't have one yet though, do I? No, I got money bags, right. But I have two. For once, I have more blessings than curses. But I do have one curse, so I have plus three damage from that. I don't really care about Devil's Carnival. Technically, I think it, it can have positive effects. I think, I think it's a total chaos card, basically. But uh, I mostly associate it with lots of not win. luck, where I keep not succeeding at the thing I want to do. But anyway, I haven't taken much damage yet, so the, the fights have been staying easy so far. And I don't have the food constraint I had last time I encountered this card. So I could just keep going and try to exhaust it. If nothing else, it'll be a chance to stock up on my uh, hit points, which is a good thing to do here, because the game's clearly suggesting that it's going to get more difficult as I go deeper into the uh, endless mode. So if I can if I can lag around here and fight like a hundred dudes or something, uh, that is a bunch of progress that makes up for the lack, lack of fighting I've done for several floors now, and it uh, avoids making the- it, 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 it lets me do more fights without making the game harder along the way. So this is clearly a chance I should ex exploit if I want to. Also, there's a, aside from strategic things, there's the usual thing, because I don't even care about strategy oftentimes when, when this specific condition happens, which is the ability to put, probably unlock a new encounter. Obviously, I often prioritize that over smart ideas. Still don't know if I'll ever want to do that one card, that one, uh, the nighttime ritual. I don't know if I'd want to do that during endless mode. Because that one takes away your equipment, kind of defeating the purpose of all the progress you make. Well, they only take away your weapons and stuff, though, and your armor, I think. So even the nighttime ritual druid thing would still benefit from all the, uh, all the blessings I have and however much health I have, which is now over 100. How many more look below? Let's find out. Still haven't taken a hit. And now In I've got 103 hit I points. My token. Why do you say draw one when you clearly draw two? That happened last time too, it's like it's lying to me. Alright, Lava Golem, this is where I had some trouble last time and it's also where I stopped based on a rule of threes. Thinking that maybe I was wrong about the entire concept of what was happening around me. Whoopsie! Chip. 
I need to take out the golem as fast as possible and carefully, because he is dangerous. He has large attacks that could lead to some nasty results if I'm not ready for them. Oh! Damn you, random pottery! Oh, crap. Pottery, why? Get out, get out. I think he just died, cool. Got, got a little got a little stuck in the cloud of enemies for a second there. Making it work, though. Hello. I see you. Ah, oh, he got me. No, he didn't, actually. I guess... I guess he missed me. <laughs> that sad little slap. The sounds freaked out for a minute there. 113 hit points, so things are actually going according to plan now. I just need the perfect situation to happen. Almost as if that's the entire basis of this game. <laughs> is random occurrences happening and hoping they work out for you. Let's go in there again. I have 113 hit points and it's maxed out. A challenge for you. I don't have any good equipment succeed. though, unfortunately. Draw one monster card. Oh, you finally arrive at the heart of the underworld, it says. Liches and lava- Oh my god. Okay. This may have been a mistake. I have to deal with liches, lava golems, and rats at the same time. I imagine running away is a valid strategy during this fight. The good news is I have a big, long environment to fight them in, which I may be able to use to my advantage. <laughs> Who's a big old horde of enemies? Yes, you are. Did, why is that lava golem dead? Whatever, I'll take it. Maybe it was friendly fire. Maybe he can hurt his teammates. Maybe. Or maybe he healed himself by kill- Oh, he's- He's heal- Oh, he's healing by killing his teammates. That's good, that means I don't have to fight the lava golems. Two of them are dead already. Ah, I hurt myself there. That was bad. He's, yeah, he's just killing his teammates. Where are you hiding? Ah, you little shit. God damn it, his attacks hurt a lot. Oh, I missed. Come on. Come on. Nope. 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 <laughs> he keeps missing. Or more like, more accurately, he keeps accurately aiming, but I'm really far away and slightly moving, which is all it takes to dodge at that range. Oh, is he dead? Ooh, yeah, that explosion was bad. He never killed the last lava golem, unfortunately. And I'm not in good shape. L Liches are nasty and I have no armor. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> nope. Why won't you just die? Just die already! It's okay, no one will miss you. <laughs> oh shit! That was a bad time to counter. Just comes as a reflex at some point. Whew! 129 hit points. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna have to do some healing now. Hopefully there's nice, uh, rewards for doing this. That seemed pretty final to me. When the Hell Beast and Lich de uh, with hell the Hell Beast and Lich defeated, the underworld begins to crumble and erode. The eruptions in the ground propel you back to the surface as though borne by a geyser. Card token is now yours. There we go. Now I'm nice and healthy, too. Not good on hit points, but I'm powerful. That's good. 